Go. Good afternoon, St. Paul's family from the back deck of my home with Calvin as my video man. It's my privilege to offer evening prayers today. And during this pandemic time and at all times, I'd like to encourage us to deeply experience the sense of sacred every day. Thomas Berry, who's a native of North Carolina and an environmental prophet now deceased, would say that we, that we can neither love nor save what we do not experience as sacred. And to experience the sacred, he encouraged us to deepen our sense of wonder and awe, the sense of the holy. Matthew Fox, an Episcopal priest who came some years ago to give a religion lecture to ECU in a program to St. Paul's, states that recovering our sense of wonder and awe is also to recover our sense of gratitude, to not take things for granted. I've spent more time on this back deck lately, and I've realized I'd gotten out of touch with the peaceful and beautiful bird sounds in the early morning and with how energizing it is to connect with things in nature I often take for granted. For example, Calvin and I are enjoying watching the lizards on the back deck, all varying colors. Some are green, some are brown, some have red things that come out of, pop up out of the back of their neck. And we've enjoyed watching them run along the deck banisters as we eat out here. And I'm intrigued how they climb up these banisters um, and walls like Spider-Man. <laughs> how do they do that? <laughs> I've seen more bees than I usually do flying through the air. And how do they carry those big bodies in proportion to their wings with those thin little wings? How, how, how does that happen? <laughs> and a, a pileated woodpecker has been a nearby friend in the woods and my heart leaps with excitement each time I see him and his striking red crested head and my heart feels enlarged by noticing more and I feel more in touch with the sacredness, the wonder and all of these little beings and all of creation. There are probably infinite ways where we could find the sacred, wonder and all, including in our fellow human beings. And I want to encourage myself and us during this pandemic and beyond to take time to connect or reconnect with the sense of wonder and awe, the sense of the holy, so that we can more deeply love and more deeply have gratitude. So before you go to bed, I encourage you to step outside to hear the night sounds, to feel the breeze, to feel the ground on your feet, to look at the stars, and to connect with the holy. I'll close with a prayer adapted from an Episcopal prayer book for youth. Um, the book is called Call on Me. God, you are a great God, greater than all gods. In your hands are all the corners of the earth. You made majestic mountains. You made the deep sea and all that lives in it. You prepared the dry land for beasts, bugs, and birds, and you brought us into your creation. You called us to tend the land, but we have lived for ourselves only. We have abused creation, contaminated the rivers, polluted the air, spoiled the soil. We have forgotten that all of creation is yours. Have mercy on us. Open our eyes and hearts to a sense of wonder and awe. Open our hearts to be grateful and to more deeply love. Open our eyes to the ways we hurt the world. Transform our indifference into compassion. Move us to change our hurtful ways. Make us bold to do what is needed, knowing that we cannot do it alone, only through your grace. Amen and good night.